Nataka nianze na Mombasa kwetu. Hii ni mkataba baina ya bandari na watu fulani ambao nitawataja jina hapa. Na huu mkataba ni kinyume na sheria. Huwezi kubali bandari imilikiwe na mtu binafsi asilimia 80. Hii ilifanywa majuzi ya kupatiana authority. Na sasa nimekwambia ni kwa nini nilielewa Juneta alisema ODM wasiweke kwa sababu the deputy party leader of ODM who is also doubles as a governor of Mombasa, Hassan Ali Joho is the first major beneficiary ya bandari ya Pwani. Amekatiwa keki yake, ametusaliti na amenyamaza. Hii mkataba imewekwa sahihi na ndugu yake. Wapewe bath number 7 na bath number 8. Imewekwa sahihi na ndugu yake ndugu yake Abubakar Ali Joho. Pamoja na mwenzake Hussein Hamid Hamis. Hii ni ya mwaka huu wa 2020 tarehe 19 mwezi wa tano. Wakati wanaambiwa wasistie sahihi wanaambiwa because one of the major beneficiaries of the port is none other than the governor of Mombasa Ali Hassan Joho. It's a shame, a big shame that wewe umekatiwa yako sasa unanyamaza unawacha wananchi wakiumia. That is one. Two. The members of parliament from Mombasa who refuse to append the signatures. Pia wao wako na interest na wamekatiwa vitu vidogo vidogo ndani ya bandari. The chairman wa pick is it pick or pack? Abdul Samad ambaye ni mbunge wa Mvita analinda kampuni ya familia yake ambaye inajiita Mercantile Cargo Terminal Operations Company. Hii imeweza hii imeweza kupewa zabuni katika bandari ya Pwani. Kwa hivyo yeye hawezi zungumza kwa sababu wako na tenda ndani ya bandari ya Pwani. Tatu CT2 inaitwa container terminal 2 Hii ndio uti wa mgongo wa bandari ya Pwani inamulikiwa na Muitaliano pamoja na familia ya Kigogo ambaye ningelitaja ndani ya bunge wananizuia nihitaje nje ili wanikamate anachukua asilimia kubwa ya bandari hiyo ya hiyo container terminal 2 CT2 hii ndio ilifanya manduku afutwe kazi baada ya kukataa kufuata vile ambavyo wanataka inamilikiwa na kampuni inajiita MSC Mediterranean Shipping Company pamoja na Muitaliano Gian Luigi Aponte na hii ndio uti wa mgongo it is the best and the biggest in Africa hiyo terminal the best and biggest in Africa kwa hivyo bandari ya Mombasa si eti ni uchumi wa nchi ni uchumi wa wakora watatu wawili wa nne hivi naivasha ni kwa nini CS Masharia anataka mizigo isiletwe na train isiletwe na lori ipelekwe na train mpaka naivasha ni kwa sababu wana ujanja hakuna ati wanasaidia nchi wanajisaidia wao wenyewe binafsi kusajili makampuni na majina ya watu wengine ili hali makampuni ni zao na kuwadhulumu wakulima wenye ardhi hiyo hiyo ardhi ya naivasha inaitwa Kedong Ranch Limited hiyo ardhi ilikuwa ya wakulima Wanyahururu Laikipia na Nyeri ikauzwa kwa shilingi bilioni mbili nukta moja. kinyume na maamuzi ya wakulima they forge the minutes 
wakauza 2.1 billion the land was worth 8 billion they sold it 2.1 billion wakatoa 1 billion wakalipa wakulima the other 1.1 billion wakaichukua wakajiuzia hiyo hiyo shamba tena kwa sababu walitaka SGR ipiti hapo kuwe na compensation ya land walipo na serikali na bado wafaidike na zile ambazo zimesalia who are these people behind Naivasha depo hiyo these are the shareholders na majina mengine ni mazito Margaret Wamboi Kenyatta Beth Muigai Muhetetu Farmers Company Limited inashikilia asilimia 40 Muhetetu ni ya Chris Mwaneki Munuhe Chris Mwaneki Munuhe ni babake aliyekuwa mwandishi wa habari Mwaneki Munuhe aliyetajwa katika scandal ya NYS1 ya Waiguru Mwaneki Munuhe Company is called Muhetetu Farmers Company Limited Hii imeshikilia asilimia 40 ya share holding na inahusisha watu ambao ningewataja kwa bunge lakini sina immunity hapa nje. Wataniua. Na mnajua ni akina nani? Kuna family sako investment Grand Grace Njambi, Jeremiah Joseph Nyaga, Long on 11 Investment, Margaret Wamboi Kenyatta, Beth Muigai, Jackson Avesta Ngaine. Ian Kipkoech, Martin, Paul Muigai, Susan Wahu Muigai, Njuguna Njao, Victor Njuguna Wamagata, Margaret Mothoni Wanye, Said Mohamed Amin, Joroge Mungai, huyu alikuwa daktari ya Kenyatta. Marehemu, Joseph Stephen Ngethe Viani, Willie Alan Muthia Njao, Gachetha Itate, J.M. Karioki, marehemu pia family yake inashamba hapo, Daniel Gilbert Kimani, Waroyo Itote, Victor Wamagata. Haya majina ukiangalia mzuri kwenye bunge ningekuambia ni nani ndio kigogo hapa sina immunity ndio maana walikataa hiyo msaada ifike katika bunge kwa sababu tungetaja wahusika wakuu tunataka kumwambia uhuru Kenyatta hatuna biashara na wewe sisi kama wapwani tunataka kumwambia uhuru Kenyatta sisi kama mahasla hatuna biashara na wewe tumedhulumiwa ukiwa unaangalia ikiwa unaangalia bado ukijua maslahi yanakwenda wapi CS James Masharia ni kijana ya mkono ni kijana ya kutumwa tumwa hapa na hapa ku deal lakini pia anapata deal deal mbili tatu kutoka kwa hizo deal ambazo anatumwa kwa hivyo sisi tutaregea nyumbani tutazungumza na watu wetu tutachukua mwelekeo wa kisiasa Tutachukulia, tutachukua mwelekeo wa katiba ya inchi. Tutafanya maandamano kwa mujibu wa makatiba na vile vile tutazungumza na watu wetu na watatuambia ipi njia sawa. Hatutakubali dhulma iendelee. Hii ndio inchi peke yake ina behave kama Colombia. Whereby ukisema ukweli unaangamizwa. Whereby ukisema ukweli unadhulumiwa na njia nyingine. Kenya is turning into a small Colombia. Today the judiciary is dead courtesy of the government of the Republic of Kenya. Today parliament is dead courtesy of the government of the Republic of Kenya. Today political parties are dead courtesy of the Republic of Kenya. Everything is dead. Leo watu ni ngombe kama vile Juneta amesema. They cannot think what their people are suffering. They cannot think what their people are going to eat. They just say, tukiambua turuke, tunaruka. Tukiambua tulale, tunalala. Kesho watakuja kusema, wanataka kulala na mabibizenyu. Tutaona mtafanya nini. Cowards who will never stand up for their people because of the party. Cowards who will never stand up for this country because of their interest. This is the time to divorce and cause the region is divorcing the government of Kenya. We will follow whoever who will listen to us. We will build another government with any other person who has the interest of our people at heart. Nasubiri sasa waanze kunitafuta, wanishike, wanipeleke KRS, juu wanipeleke DCI, wafanya vile ambavo watafanya, lakini this revolution will continue 
They say that revolution will never be televised. This one will be televised. Good luck and God bless you. So if you